What happens if you spend five seconds swimming in Titan's lakes? The mere thought of such an otherworldly experience sparks our imagination and beckons us to explore the mysteries of our solar system. Saturn's largest moon, the Titan, is a celestial body shrouded in intrigue, with its vast lakes of liquid hydrocarbons and a landscape reminiscent of Earth yet profoundly alien. In this journey of 5 seconds, we will delve into the unique characteristics of Titan, its enigmatic lakes, and the thrilling possibilities beyond our terrestrial realm. It takes a lot of effort to reach Titan. Even when it is closest to Earth, this far-off moon is 1.2 billion kilometers or 746 million miles away, which is an incredible distance. A rigorous seven-year journey inside a spaceship would be required to reach Titan. One would need a large quantity of food and a cutting edge life support system to survive such a journey. The journey to Titan requires unflinching resolve and unmatched preparedness. You can rest confident that there are no risks of chilling or suffocating while traveling to Titan in the solar system. You won't need to be concerned about such dangers. Instead, you can unwind, take it easy, and enjoy every second of this fantastic journey. As you travel into the vastness of the cosmos in search of Titan, Saturn's intriguing moon, your security and comfort are assured. Let the excitement grow and be worry-free. Enjoy the thrill of this beautiful trip. So keep your imagination imagination engaged until the culmination of this exploration, and you'll discover a newfound wonder for the possibilities of 5 seconds in Titan's lakes. This intriguing scenario beckons you to delve into the mysteries of an alien world and consider the intricate forces shaping the landscapes of distant moons. Being able to observe Saturn up close is simply breathtaking. It unquestionably dominates the other ring planets in our neighborhood in space. But let's turn away from the fantastic things of the universe. Setting out on your journey to reach your desired destination is now essential. Titan boasts a multitude of unique characteristics. Firstly, it surpasses our moon in size and even eclipses Mercury, the tiniest planet within our cosmic vicinity. Furthermore, it is the sole moon to possess a dense and enveloping atmosphere. Additionally, it distinguishes itself as the sole celestial body adorned with liquid lakes, flowing rivers, and expansive seas. In an extraordinary twist, rainfall graces its surface from time to time. Touching down on Titan entails a descent lasting approximately two and a half hours, and one must carefully select a suitable landing site due to the unique conditions prevailing on this enigmatic moon. Titan's surface is covered in many lakes, as we already mentioned. Therefore, you must choose your landing place carefully unless you want to submerge your entire spaceship in liquid methane. Let's proceed with this once more. Now that you've successfully touched down on Titan, it's time to embark on an exploration of this icy world. This Saturnian moon may resemble Venus, but Venus's burning infernal heat is not present in this Saturnian moon. Titan stands out as one of the more welcoming places in our solar system. Despite having a gravitational pull of only 14% that of Earth, its denser atmosphere makes it possible to walk on its outermost layer without wearing a spacesuit. However, it's not advisable. A spacesuit is a necessity to maintain your body temperature. Being significantly distant from the sun, Titan lacks the warmth we experience on Earth. Traveling on Titan is pretty tricky. It would be more like bouncing about than taking quiet strolls. You would feel noticeably lighter due to Titan's reduced gravity, enabling you to move and jump farther with much less effort. Nitrogen dominates Titan's atmosphere, which is remarkably comparable to Earth's environment. However, a crucial difference would prevent respiration from being possible on this moon. Titan's atmosphere is primarily composed of nitrogen, about 95%, with a small amount of methane about 5%. Unlike Earth, where oxygen is a significant component of the atmosphere, surviving even a brief moment in this environment requires an essential oxygen supply, as the atmosphere is far from breathable. Not only do the bodies of water contain high methane concentrations, but the clouds above are also saturated with methane. Occasionally, there are methane showers on Titan, although they bear little resemblance to earthly rainfall. Instead of rapid, gravity-driven drops, 
these showers move slower, almost hypnotic, due to the Titan's lower gravity in dense atmospheric conditions. Raindrops fall at a swift rate of about 9 meters per second or about 30 feet per second on Earth. On Titan though, they fall at a far slower pace, with an average speed of roughly 1.6 meters or 5 feet per second. Walking in the rain on Titan would be a unique experience given this giant disparity, which is around 6 times slower. However, it's unlikely you came here to stroll in the rain. Your purpose for coming here was most likely to plunge into Titan's vast lakes. The astronomer's mission involves dipping into one of Titan's methane pools. However, it's essential to clarify a few key points. First and foremost, this endeavor is far from resembling a relaxing spa day. The experience is similar to immersing oneself in a freezer. Titan exudes an incredibly frigid atmosphere, with an overall icy ambiance that dominates the environment. When it's that cold, water becomes as hard as concrete. They take a different stance towards methane and ethane though. They congregate in those cute little pools because they're like, exactly, it's pretty cold dude. However, we're still fine in our liquid state. Now, let's picture you dressed in that stylish space gear. The good news is that you won't suddenly transform into an icicle-like frozen astronaut. The suit's drawback is that it will cause you to float. That would be the end if you took the plunge in without the suit for some improbable reason. The lights dimmed and as the biting cold seeped into your core, rendering your muscles immobile, the creeping absence of oxygen would seal your fate. We have a much better chance of surviving if we put the spacesuit on for only 5 seconds most likely. Do you want to put it to the test? So keep in mind the remarkable adventure that got you here, the puzzles you've solved, and the wonders of our broad cosmos that remain to motivate us as you reflect on those 5 seconds submerged in Titan's lakes. Do you dare to put on that spacesuit and plunge into the alien world's methane pools even for 5 seconds? Thank you for watching this incredible voyage through time, and stay tuned for more exciting adventures in the world of science and discovery.